The July newsletter for Ultimate Football just dropped and there are some insane things in there. Today I'll be recapping it for you. It went over what's to come for Season 3, answered questions, new staff members, upcoming events, 4 new codes, updates, 2 giveaways, and so much more. First up, the new staff, which is shown on your screen right now. Then the newsletter went over to the recent and upcoming milestones. The recent milestones include 10,000 Twitter followers, 11 million Ultimate Football visits and 11,000 likes on the game, and 65,000 Cloudverse members, and 21,000 Discord members. Their close milestones include 2,000 Instagram followers and 1,000 TikTok followers. Next up, some news about in-game visors. Visors got an absolute glow up thanks to EST510 as he went over every single visor in the game and remade them. Not just a couple visors, but every single visor in the game. Now, Nitro Boosters for their Discord server will get their own special events and their own Discord chat. Also, the real-life merch buyers will also get the same perks, such as their own Discord chat, early access to leaks and updates, which is different, and their own giveaways. There was also a short paragraph about staff applications. Unfortunately, I can't be one because I don't meet the age requirements, but this video isn't about me. Staff applications currently are closed and are said to be closed until a spot opens up. There were also four planned events that were listed. A community vote award ceremony, a 4v4 tournament, similar to something that AFL did a while back, an all-star game, and more Ultimate Football Hunger Games. I'm currently very excited to tell you about all the stuff that Cloudburst has told us about Season 3. First off, it was already stated that this is going to be one of the biggest updates the game has ever seen, but they also did say that it will be majorly pushed back, which I'm okay with because Bruh. I definitely need some grinding to do. Although, here's all the stuff that they leaked about Season 3. First off is all the new features being added into the Hangout Hub. They're calling this new place in the Hangout Hub Park Mode, which is committed to gameplay only. There will be 2v2 fields, 3v3 fields, and 4v4 fields. There's also going to be a new feature introduced called Crews. Your crew will sort of be like your team. It can have up to 6 people. All 6 of the players contribute to the rating or overall of your crew. They're saying that as you level up with your crew, you will get rewards, basically creating a new type of season pass. Your team can choose who starts and sits for your crew. Overall, I'm very excited about this feature. The only problem for me is that I have no friends. Moving back to normal Hangout Hub, when you hop on pads to get into 4v4 games, it's very difficult to get with the people you want. Well now, you can have a preset squad, which means your spots can't be taken by randoms, which is a very nice feature. There's also a huge update to regular public. 16 new teams with their own new uniforms, stadiums, and all that stuff have been added, which I am so excited about. As of now, no one knows what they're going to be called, but I'm assuming it's going to be tons of new locations, tons of new epic, new uh, uniforms and stadiums. This is one of the features that I'm most excited for. Oh yeah, congrats to Jay Viden for being staff of the month. Shout out to him. He sent 3,000 plus messages, gave away over 800,000 coins, hosted five events, and helped with tons of other events in June. There were also three members of the month included in this news newsletter. The names were four underscore one S, SMH King, who is actually a good friend of mine, and James Franco1234. Congrats to them. Now we move on to some even more shoutouts. The best two leagues of the month are AFL and LFGUF. And now it's time for my favorite part of the newsletter. Look at me! I made the top five, uh, the top four content creators. Thank you so much, Cardi. Also, shout out to the Dimer, Juicy John, and It's Vogue for also making it into the top four. Shout out to Infinite, Entity, and Mateo, as they are the three brands that Ultimate Football uses and were also mentioned in the newsletter. Now, we're almost reaching the end of this newsletter. There were two giveaways listed at the bottom, and there's still one part I've missed. The codes. There were four codes throughout the whole newsletter, although they might be expired by the time this video is uploaded. The codes are J Viden, shout out, fireworks, and we love boosts. So yeah, I think I covered everything. Uh, thank you to Cardi for writing this incredible newsletter. Thanks for watching, and please consider liking and subscribing. I really need it. I'll see you guys later. Peace out.